Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that how we can do the connection of photocell sensor. That is, how through day and night sensor, we will turn on and off any lamp. The sensor I have here, lights which are installed outside the home as well as street light also, to turn on and off these, we use this sensor. As you know that lights installed outside of home need to be turned on only during night time and in the morning we turn off lights. So this sensor I have here, if we connect this sensor with the lights, then those lights or street light will automatically turn on during night and in the morning it will turn off automatically. The sensor we have, before doing connection of this sensor, let us look at the specification first because before wiring, we must have the knowledge about the equipment which we are going to use. As you can see here, this sensor I have, power source of this, I mean to operate this sensor, 220 volt to 240 volt AC power supply we have to provide. After this, if we want to connect the sensor directly with load, then maximum 10 ampere load we can connect here. Now we are using the sensor to turn on and off any lamp. So when the sensor turn on the light and when it turns off, for this, ambient light details is given here. Now this sensor here, let's learn the connection of this sensor. Friends, as you can see, in this sensor, three wires are provided. This red wire is our phase wire and this black wire is for neutral. After this, output command we get, we will get through this yellow wire. Inside this sensor, one LDR is also connected. Work of LDR is when light falls on LDR, then it stops generating output command. And if light does not fall on it, then in this condition, in this yellow wire here, it will provide phase supply as output. We can use this phase supply anywhere. Okay, look here in this sensor we have to provide phase supply and neutral power supply to this, we are using this 3 pin plug top. With this 3 pin plug top, I already connected two wires. This red wire here, we will use this wire for phase. And this black wire here, we will use this black wire for neutral. So here what we will do, we will connect this phase wire with this red wire. It means we are providing phase supply to photo sensor. After this, take this neutral wire and connect with this black wire. So to the sensor, phase supply and neutral power supply is connected. After this, this yellow wire here, we get output command in this yellow wire. So what we will do, we will connect a lamp with this. Take phase supply of this lamp and connect with the yellow wire. In this way, I am connecting this wire. After this, neutral wire of this lamp here, take this wire and connect with neutral power supply wire. Okay, now to this sensor, we will provide power supply. So with the power supply, I am connecting the socket. Friends, I did the connection of sensor with the power source. Right now, you can see indication lamp is not glowing because light is falling on this sensor. Let us take this sensor away from the light. So I am hiding this. Now you can see indication lamp started glowing. Now I am removing this. On removing this, after few seconds, indication lamp will turn off automatically. Here we are not using any switch for turning on and off. Everything is automatic here. Our sensor is turning on and off this lamp. Now if you have more lights, like if there are more indication lamps, then you can connect this in parallel and you can operate this also. Connection was same as before. What I did is, I took phase supply wire of these lights and connected with this yellow wire. After this, I took neutral wire of these lights and connected with this black wire. It means we directly provided neutral power supply and with this yellow wire, we connected phase supply wires. Now let us operate this once again. So here I covered this sensor. You can see all the three indication lamps are glowing. Now we will remove this from here. After few seconds, all these indication lamps will turn off automatically. So sensor is operating all the lights perfectly. Friends, during installation of this, you have to keep one thing in mind. Whenever you are using this photo sensor to operate any light, then your sensor must not be below any bulb. What I am trying to say, look here. See, here is one street light and we cannot install this photo cell below this light. If you install below any light, then it will remain in contact with light and this photo cell will not work. What you have to do, you can place it above the light so that this photo cell won't get light of the street light. Now friends, sometimes we have to do bypass also. I mean before the darkness, if we want to turn on the lights, then we have to make a bypass system here. I mean we have to place a bypass switch here. How we are going to do it, let's understand. For bypass switch, I am using a simple switch here. 
By using this switch, I will make a bypass circuit here. If load is high, I mean you are flowing more current than normal, then you can use a MCB here. And for turning on one or two lights only, you are using this sensor, then by using this type of switch also, you can make a bypass circuit. So here what we have to do, simply connect two wires in this switch first of all. Now take one wire and with the face wire here, connect this wire. So with the face wire, I connected one wire. After this, take this second wire and with this yellow wire, connect this wire. So I connected this also. How I connected bypass switch here, understand this once again. Look, what I did, through a wire, I provided input power supply to this switch. Now by connecting one wire with the output terminal, with this output wire, I connected this wire. It means on turning on this switch, lamp will get power supply. Okay, let's test this by turning on and off the switch. Right now switch is in off condition. First of all through this sensor, I will turn on and off these lights. Here I hide the sensor, you can see all the lamps turned on. Now after few seconds, they will turn off. Now if you want to turn it on manually, then simply by pressing this switch, you can turn on the lights. After this, by pressing the switch, you can turn off all the lights. So friends, I hope this concept is clear to you now. Friends, if you want to learn how to turn on and off night lamp of your home automatically by using motion sensor, then click on the right hand side video to watch. I hope you like this video. Friends, if you like this video, then please give like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.